How to make homemade soap to sell. Now there are several methods used for making home homemade soap. These include the cold process, hot process and melt and pour methods. Cold process soap making is by far the most popular means of how to make soap from scratch and to find out more about how to create homemade soap visit www.soapmakingbooks.com forward slash ebook. Now a great site to ensure that your soap complies with FDA regulations for consumer use is www.fda.gov forward slash cosmetics forward slash forward slash guidance compliance regulatory information forward, forward slash UCM 074201.htm Don't worry, all of the website links will be posted below this video in the description box. There are, however, a number of typical concerns hobbyist soap makers often have about soap making, particularly when they're wanting to move from hobbyist to turning their hobby into something that generates cash flow. Even if you think you're just a hobby seller, you probably want to make sure you're legally compliant with tax and business laws. The link below helps you figure out where you sit with regards to whether you'd be considered a hobbyist soap maker or a business. And that link is www.irs.gov forward slash UAC forward slash business dash or dash hobby and the rest of it I will put in the description box below. If you're selling soap or any bath and body products, it's highly recommended that you have business liability insurance in place. Due to the fact that consumers are using your products on their skin daily, bath and body sellers do need to cover themselves a bit more than many other sellers. Next and very importantly, do your research and plan your business. That means creating a business plan, a marketing plan, an operations plan, as well as a sales plan. I highly recommend getting yourself a business coach if you decide to go ahead, uh, go headlong into your own soap making business. A hobby involves one skill set and a business involves a completely different set of skills. The less you invest in business knowledge up front, the more you'll end up paying through costly mistakes. A great online resource is Action Coach founded by Brad Sugars and his link is www.actioncoach.com. You'll also need a unique selling point or USP that makes your soap stand out. You don't have to create the next bis big craze. You just need to take a look at your competitors and see where the gaps are in what they are doing. So start with one idea and focus on that. Don't try to create different soaps for everybody. How could you do things differently and better than your competition? You only need to be 1% better than your competition for people to really notice. You also need to ask yourself how many competitors are there in your marketplace? If you're already up against 20 other handmade soapers in your local market, perhaps you should look for another area to test your soaps in. Test your market. It's always a good thing to test batches of soap before you decide to invest heavily in your soap making business. Take them to farmers markets and see which ones sell the best. An even cheaper way to test out your soaps would be to go through home party plants. Make sure you ask buyers why they chose the soap they purchased and what else would appeal to them. Also work out a way to capture your customer's details so that you can keep in contact with them and let them know when you've created your next or newest batch. Once you've tested your market and feel like you have a clearer understanding on what your market actually wants, then you can start promoting your soaps to retailers such as beauty salons and gift so stores. You could also sell your soaps online on, soap on sites such as Etsy.com and Amazon stores. A great resources, resource for helping you figure out how to take advantage of Amazon's brilliant marketing and use it to sell more of your own soaps is Amazing Selling Machine as well as Ezra Firestone's Brown Box Formula, www.brownboxformula.com. Okay, and now onto a very important section of making money through your um, hobby is understanding your figures. I know not everyone was born with a mathematical brain, but even the most mathematically challenged can get enthusiastic about money math, as it affects how much money you're able to take home at the end of each day. 
you'll need to price your bars with the following variables in mind. Cost of goods, shipping, plus labour, plus overhead, times two is what will make up your wholesale cost. So if we break that down, the cost of goods is how much it costs you to make the actual soap, so all of the raw ingredients. Shipping is perhaps petrol or courier fees to get your bar to market. Labour, perhaps at this stage it's just you, or um, it could be somebody that you're employing. You need to work out exactly how much you're charging per hour, particularly if it's you. Uh, too many business owners leave themselves out and end up getting burnt. Um, not the plan, because a business is meant to serve you first and foremost. Your overhead, things like uh, electricity, rent, mortgage for the room, so it would just be that specific space, that specific area that you're working in. Um, it could even be a stall that's being used um, to sell your soap. You times that by two and you get your wholesale cost. So if you set your wholesale cost at double the cost of the actual cost that it, it um, took to create the bar, you're, le you're at least ensuring that you're going to get profit um, even at the wholesale cost level. Generally your wholesale cost will be anywhere between about three to four dollars per bar depending on what you've used to make your bars. And your retail cost would then be double what you're charging your wholesalers and would therefore leave you with a tidy profit if you are able to sell them yourself. Remember to focus on the potential and not the end result. One foot in front of the other will build the discipline you require to become a successful soap crafting business owner. You'll always come up against challenges in any venture you undertake, so you'll need to learn to focus and keep moving forward. At the end of the day, pursuing your dreams makes everything worthwhile. Happy soaping. To find out more about the actual process of soap making and all things soap related, visit www.soapmakingbooks.com forward slash soapmakingecourse.